Ronald Dungu is a physics and mathematics teacher at Gayaza High School, where he is also a deputy head teacher. Dungu has been teaching at Gayaza for the last 18 years, and his journey has borne fruits. Now he is one of the 50 shortlisted classroom teachers from 5,000 nominations and 13,000 applications from 127 countries. He is one of the six teachers from Africa on the list. And they were telling us to share uh, our story. Being passionate about what we do, we, we wanted um, to talk to the world about the work we are doing. Dungu says that in 2007, while teaching a mathematics class, he came up with an idea that would later involve 100 students from his senior one class go out to primary schools in the community to teach mathematics to the pupils for one hour every week. We give one of our students three pupils from the primary school. We normally teach P6 and P7. With this program, Dungu intended to make his students aware of their communities and their needs, as opposed to them focusing on academics alone. We could not just sit in class and begin listing issues to do with the poverty, unemployment, and so on. We had to go into the field so that they experience it. Children in UPE schools have a lot of uh, challenges with them. They come to school without food, they come to school without uniform. The most interesting uh, of all has been um, the discovery that kids come to school without food. The academic empowerment program has grown over the years to a point where Gayaza High School students are now involved in a farming project to help provide meals for the pupils in the primary schools where they teach mathematics. We end up providing um, one meal of porridge uh, a week to this school. It is this project that saw Dungu qualify for the Vaki James Foundation Global Teacher Prize. It tells me that all the ideas we are putting together for example, opening up schools to support communities is a worthwhile reason. The mathematics teacher has also started training other teachers on this model project and how they can implement it in their schools. When NTV visited, we met him presenting to a group of teachers from Kenya. The world's first $1 million Global Teacher Prize was initiated by the Vaki James Foundation at its Global Education and Skills Forum in Dubai in March. Dungu is hopeful that he will win. This award will give us a stepping stone to make this more, um, possible within other schools. His colleagues are also confident that Dongo will take first place. He has worked on the Kadongo project with passion and commitment. I have no doubt that the initiative should be a model if for all the other schools elsewhere. The winner will be announced at the Global Education and Skills Forum 2015 in Dubai. Gertrude Tomosime with Kwari, NTV.